recent scientific discoveries are telling us that one and a half degrees, the more ambitious of the two temperature targets that were agreed by all the governments in Paris in December 2018 when they signed the Paris Agreement, that target, one and a half degrees, is itself a very dangerous thing to go through. And so if we're serious about going for that target, and almost all the governments of the world have signed up for it, then what we, we, we have no room to maneuver. I think one of the most telling um, statements recently was by the International Energy Agency saying we, we will use up the budget to go beyond that level of uh, temperature rise in existing infrastructure, carbon, fossil fuel burning infrastructure, so power plants, cars, and the rest of it. We, we can't afford, in their view, to build a single additional uh, piece of infrastructure that burns fossil fuels going forward. That's how acute it is. That's how much of the challenge that we have. Having a target of zero net emissions by 2030, not 2050, that's too late. So 2030 is the right year to shoot for. There are a number of amplifications, you can call them tipping points if you like. They're in different places around the world. So the Arctic is one, but in the oceans, as we acidify ocean, the oceans, as we stratify them, so they get more sluggish as they get warmer, and then they can't take as much carbon dioxide down out of the atmosphere. The tropical rainforests are another potential tipping point. And you know, there, there are eight or 10 of these um, carbon bombs, is another word that people have come up with for them, that we, we really have to head off by rapid emissions reductions in the years immediately ahead. Our problem is the politics at the moment. That's what we have to break through. Mrs May announced that we were in Britain going to be the first country to have a legally binding target of zero emissions by near zero net emissions by 2050. A few days later, there was an opinion poll. Is that enough? Nearly 80% of the people in the country polled said, no, it's not enough. We have a climate emergency. We have to go much faster than 2050. And that, of course, includes a lot of people who uh, well, they're right across the political spectrum, so it's not like Brexit. This is something that people on the left and the right and the centre all agree on. Renewables are being mobilised fast, but we have to go faster, we have to capitalise them faster, we have to deploy them faster. We know we can do all that. It's only moving from $300 billion a year to a trillion dollars a year in terms of of capitalizing the survival reflex in clean energy. And we know that we can mobilize faster than we are already with wind and solar and the other members of the renewable energy family. Part of that mobilization process has to be what people are increasingly calling the Green New Deal in multiple countries. And that means revitalizing the economy in the way that people did in the 1930s after the Great Depression by just building in infrastructure, concrete infrastructure of all kinds. This time we build green infrastructure that can deal with the climate threat and also provide young people with hope. So you're dealing with the jobs problem and you're dealing with this horrible monster problem of inequality which is driving so many of the other problems on the planet. Uh, and to kick all this along, the fourth and uh, arguably most important thing to do to focus people's minds is to set targets. You can't just, you know, do it piecemeal. You, you want governments and companies and cities and communities to be setting targets and ambitious targets. And then you get a, a virtuous circle. You, the whole thing can snowball into a great survival reflex uh, in human society. And that's what we all in our different ways have to shoot for in the years ahead. Um, buoyed by the uh, hope that I think the, the new protesters, the school children protesting, Extinction Rebellion and their non-violent disruption of what is a suicidal system as things stand, um, that's what we have to do.